talk the last time he has, so go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? I got a, a very special anniversary to share um, this week. It's probably the most special anniversary in my life. Um, I see my wife giving me dirty looks over here, so I'm already in trouble for no shave November, so I'm in a little bit more trouble now. But, uh, in, in all seriousness, uh, this past week, uh, on Monday, it was... Um, a lot of you know, a lot of you have um, heard my testimony, so um, some of you haven't. Um, for those who haven't, um, I was an alcoholic and a drug addict for many years. And this past Monday was my four-year sobriety anniversary. Amen. Um, you know, I came up here, thank you for the applause, but um, you know, the real reason I'm up here is that, that I hope through my testimony and, and what God has done in my life that I can help somebody out there who might be struggling with the same thing or struggling with anything for that matter because, um, you know, God is good. And, and with all things, you know, you know Jesus said in Matthew 19, 26, that all things are possible with God. And my life is a living testimony of that. Um, you know, I went from, you know, family and friends trying to get me sober for years um, with no success. And, uh, you know, it was, it was only when I found God that I was able to get sober and that my life was able to change. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, my life was pretty unmanageable and, and now you know, I'm pretty successful in, in, my, in the construction field. I have six wonderful, beautiful children. Um, God has rebuilt my relationship with my oldest son. Uh, none of those things would have been possible without God and, and my getting sober. Um, so, you know, it is very special to me and it means a lot to me. But I hope what I've gone through can encourage other people. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, whatever you have going on in your life, whatever it is that you're struggling with, if you, if you lay it right up here at the foot of this cross, cross I guarantee you God will help you. And God will, God will take care of whatever it is that's, that's uh, you know, keeping you back and holding you back. You know, it's not going to be easy. And God never promised that, that it would be easy. You know, not even for Christians. And all of us know that, that you go through struggles in life. And, and that life is hard, you know. Paul said it. In Acts 14.22, we, we must go through hardships to enter the kingdom of God. And uh, so, you know, it's not ever going to be easy, but with God in your life, you know, it, 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 it eases the burden. So I want to encourage everyone, no matter what it is that you're going through, uh, be it struggles with alcohol or, or pornography or, you know, just whatever it is, just the everyday struggles of life. You know, if you give it to God, He will, he will help you. He will take care of you. Uh, you know, all things are possible with God. So I just encourage you, especially this time of year, as people really go through struggles um, during the holidays. So, you know, I really encourage you that, that uh, you know, put it up here. You know, God sent His only Son to die on that cross for you, so that you wouldn't have to struggle, and that you wouldn't have to go through it alone. You know, God's there for you. So, you know, through prayer and, and, and fellowship with with other Christians, you can get through whatever it is. So, I hope that I hope that my words encourage somebody. And I hope that. Hope that you know, whatever it is you're struggling with, that you can give it to God and, and He can help you. Amen. Thank you.